What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, of course, with Gig Economy Reactions. And, you know, he, he's, a, he's an everything man. He's a renaissance man. That's what you are. You are a renaissance because you are the jack of all trades. You, you do everything. I'm so proud of you. Um, we're headed to uh, the Toxic Waste Dump. No, actually, we're not. We're actually headed to the dump. This place is a lot cleaner than FedEx Field. Um, we're over working on uh, an apartment unit that they left all kinds of trash and debris and stuff. So we're getting rid of uh, all of that stuff uh, out the way and, you know, cleaning up and doing what I'm doing. You know, um, shout out to Gina. da 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 Damn, Gina, for giving me an update. You know, every night when I finish my fireside chat, I always say, make sure you tell the ones you love that you love them because you might not get the chance. Because... This world is just getting crazy. It's just, you just don't know. People didn't expect to go to a 4th of July parade and all of a sudden, dudes start shooting, you know, planning for weeks on, I'm just going to kill some people I don't know. It's, it's just senseless violence. And it's getting to the point where all this stuff is touching, or will be, I'm sure, in the very near future, all of us. So Demarcus Lawrence tweeted out a few minutes ago that he lost, uh, well, as he put it, a brother. Um, basically, Greg Grimes. Greg Grimes was at Boise State where he was. He mentored Demarcus Lawrence. They were good friends and things. And he was killed over the weekend by senseless gun violence. And this shit just gets to be ridiculous to the point where we're almost getting numb to it. I mean, it, it's happening so frequently, so often, that it's kind of like an everyday occurrence. And, and that's where it really gets to be scary that it becomes part of our norm in our everyday life. When you go to church, go to a movie theater, go to school, to a parade, a business that you work at, your home. Where does it end, man? You know, the sad thing is, is everybody will say, thoughts and prayers go out to you. I'm sick of having to give thoughts and prayers to people. How about we give people some solutions? How about we get to the root cause of why people get to be so down and out and desperate that they feel their only out is to kill somebody else. How about we deal with some mental illnesses? How about we deal with, you understand, but do you know who the most dangerous person in the world is? A person that's got nothing to lose. And that's a God that's honest, honest truth. A person who's got nothing to lose doesn't give a rat's ass about you or anything else. We need to come together and work together so that people have hope. That people, you know, we used to have what was known as the American dream, you know, that we'd get a good job, that we'd make a nice salary, that we'd be able to have a home, that we'd be able to make enough to be able to take care of our children and pass something on, help them get a, a better education and for them to be able to achieve more than you did. But right now, I don't know what happened to the American dream. It's sad. It's sad that this is where what what, what has come to. That every day you, you listen to the news say read the newspaper, but nobody reads the newspaper, but you look on the internet, you know, not far from me, four people were shot over the weekend, you had a guy shoot at the police in police chase, and he got shot and killed um, by the police, Springfield Mall, they shot a guy there, police shot a guy there, where will this stuff end, man, where will this stuff end, for me, you know, I'm just happy that, and I'm covered with sweat. I've been 
we've been working hard on this house, ain't we? This place is a wreck. <sighs> Dripping with sweat, cleaning up somebody else's filth and everything else. But you know what? I'm ecstatic that I got something to do that will make a difference, not only for myself, but for somebody else. This house has been trashed by some people, but I know that I'm going to be able to go through, fix it, get it cleaned up, make it nice, and make it a great home for somebody. And for me, that's what I enjoy in life. It's all about hope. When you lose it, you'll do anything. I hate to say this to you, Demarcus Lawrence, because we all say it. My thoughts and prayers go out to you, your friend, and their family. I'm just getting tired of having to say it every single day. Hope y'all are having a great Taco Tuesday.